Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Congressman Gary Miller is with us now to talk about uh, some of the important issues that he's facing uh, this time around. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor to be back on your show. Uh, what do you see as the most important issue that is going to uh, impact our country right now that you're working on? Back Without a doubt, jobs, especially my district, this region. What can you do about it? Well, you can change some of the laws. You can get rid of the additional mandate placed on businesses because there's just layer and layer of regulations placed on businesses that are really killing them today. We've got to deal with that. Um, we've got a bill for revitalization zones, which um, takes areas that have higher unemployment, um, higher foreclosures, commercial residential, than the state within its within which it serves. And um, we're going to be able to get some tax credits, those type of things, expanding from 30 to 50, and that'll include our area here. Uh-huh. Uh, How is this different from a redevelopment uh zone? Um, this provides tax credits. It's, it, it goes to a, a larger area. It doesn't necessarily have local government involved. What it does, it says to an employer, if you want to hire people, we'll give you tax credits. We're not actually giving money. We're just not going to charge taxes like we would in normal cases to uh, revitalize it. It really works. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, were, were talking a little early about the Affordable Care Act. Uh, what direction do you see this taking now that it's implemented? It's after the first of the year. Uh, people are signing up, but not in the numbers that were originally um, estimated. Well, the people that need to sign up aren't. That's the young people that are healthy, that really don't have claims. Um, the people that are signing up tend to be elderly um, or those who have uh, pre-existing conditions or something that they need insurance and they haven't had it passed, and the government's picking up a lot of the tab on it. But the average um, individual who has health insurance, has lost it, is having to go buy it now, is finding out that their costs are uh, going up dramatically from what they were before. But for example, my, I had Blue Cross Blue Shield. I have something that's very similar now. Uh, my uh, premiums went up about $1,000 a month. Uh, my co-pays went from uh, 350 a year to $1,500 a year uh, because I have three grandchildren live with me. So if you're a family with, with children, you're going to find that you're the ones who are going to pay. Well, they talked about how important it was for the young healthies to get involved, but uh, what is the benefit if a lot of the young healthies are on uh, subsidies anyway when it comes to signing up and paying for it? Well, they're really not. If, you, um, if you're low income or you have a reason to be on a subsidy, um, there's an advantage to you signing up. But for the average uh, young person who's out working and trying to create a life for themselves and they're earning a living, um, they're not going to be subsidized. And they're the ones that the government's looking to to pay the premiums to subsidize those others who are going to really be using the insurance program. What do you see the progression of events from here on out this next year, the next two years, three years, concerning the Affordable Care Act? The phone calls we're receiving um, are not good. Uh, people are angry. Mm -hmm. They um, believe that government misrepresented this to them. I have to agree with that. Um, what they were told is not happening. Their premiums are not going down. They're going up. Mm -hmm. um, they were told they could keep their health care. And this is not a political speech. This is a matter of fact. They're losing their health care because their insurers have to cancel to try to get people in a new program. And when they look what's available in the new program, uh, they don't like what they see, and they really don't like what they're being charged. What do you think is going to happen in terms of cost savings? Because, like you said, some uh, premiums are going up. But what about uh, the cost of um, health coverage itself, um, the, the benefits, the services? I don't think they're going to improve at all. Um, doctors are concerned. Um, hospitals are very concerned. Um, example, a very good friend of mine is uh, one of the top ophthalmologists in the country. And now he's head of ophthalmology at the Royal Hospital in Saudi Arabia. Took a three-year contract. Uh, mm -hmm. through Johns Hopkins. Um, he contracts through them and he's over there in Saudi Arabia now for three years running uh, ophthalmology for their f societies basically. Um, he's one of the best we have in this country and because of the cost of um, reimbursements he's just can't afford to mm -hmm. stay in business anymore here. All right. Well we'll see. Congressman Gary Miller, thanks for uh, stopping by. Well thank you. Thanks for being here and thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.